Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Uh, thank you for tuning in here at Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. I got the kids in the truck. Uh, we just received a call about a wild bee swarm in our local town, and uh, we're going to go see if we cannot catch it. So, if you guys caught one of the last videos where one of our awesome subscribers sent us the beehive kit, it's actually going to come in really handy today, and I'll show you guys how we are going to catch this swarm. Hopefully, uh, everything goes good, and hopefully it's still there by the time we get there, because sometimes when you go to get these swarms in the fall, sometimes they'll leave. But they just called, and uh, we're going to head down there. Luckily, I'm off work today, and I can go do that. Uh, and a lot of times in the fall, it's almost fall time here in Oklahoma, a lot of times these swarms don't make it, but if you guys have been watching our videos, we had one of our beehives swarm the other day, and we kind of gave it a jump start with some extra frames and stuff from one of our good hives. So we might have to do the same one for this one. I don't know. We'll, as soon as we get down there, we'll see. But I got this brand new beehive, beehive kit, and it's actually going to come in super handy and make this a lot easier. I'll uh, put the beehive underneath them, kind of get them in there, and then I'll put a ratchet strap around them. And I got a bed cover on my truck, so that makes it a little bit easier. And then we'll get them home, put them up, and then hopefully we can add two more beehives because we did lose the two this year to the wax moss. So hopefully we'll be able to bring our numbers back up to where we were going into winter time. So I'm going to load this stuff up and get my bee suit and all that, and then uh, we'll head down the road. All right, guys, so there is the beehive right there on that mailbox, and we're right here down by the lake right off the highway. And I see some coming and going, so I'm going to try to just set this GoPro up, and you guys can watch me from here. All right, so I got the majority of them in there. Hopefully the queen's in there. We're just gonna put the top on there and kind of let them be for a little bit. And I already plugged this up, so I'm gonna take this off the front. And give them some time to go in here. Because you can see there's still quite a bit flying around. And I want to use this ratchet strap to keep it all together. So it'll make it a little bit easier to pick it up.
So you can see a lot of them's coming back up here to the pheromones up here on the mailbox. And these are all the ones that's just flying around. So I'll try to brush these off. back my truck up I'm gonna to try to get this hive set up here where the entrance is a lot closer to the actual mailbox Just a few that we keep flying back onto the mailbox, but you see how close I got the entrance of the hive to the mailbox now. So hopefully they'll pick up on these pheromones and they'll start going in the actual hive. I'm gonna back up just a hair. just sit here and wait a little bit okay so I found out what they were doing why they wouldn't leave this mailbox alone is there's holes all on the side of this and there's some uh, crevices and cracks in here where they can get up in this cavity so what I've been doing I got the back blocked there's a pretty big hole in the back and I've started smoking them and now they're pretty much staying clear of it they're still coming back but not like they were so can you see they're still going into the uh, entrance there but there's still a few fun around we want to try to get as many as possible we don't want 
uh, the homeowners to have to come over here and have to deal with any that's lingering because if they come to get in the mail or put any mail in their mailbox they could sting them so we want to try to get as many as possible so i'm going to keep doing this and uh i might pull up a little bit try to get them away from this mailbox because you see they're starting to get underneath the box in my truck all right guys so we got the majority of the bees there's still a few more flying around on the mailbox now we're gonna get a cold drink get something to eat and uh head back home mm -hmm. and uh put them out there at the apiary so the kids got the watch i didn't let them out because these things are flying all over and they don't have bee suits i don't want them to get stung so it's super hot today now so yeah we're gonna get them home i think i think we got the hopefully we got the queen and we got the majority of the bees so hopefully we can make this hive work for us at home so we can add another one to our collection we'll see okay so we're back home on the farm we're out here at the apiary and uh i don't know guys so let me get these set over here by our other bee boxes and then i'll talk a little bit about what i think we might do i've got a couple of options here <clears throat> Luckily, this swarm isn't aggressive at all, but since I'm over here by our existing beehives, I'm gonna go ahead and suit up. I don't wanna get no stings, especially to my face. I'm not as brave as some of these people you see that do all this and uh, don't even wear a bee suit. So there we go. All right, so we got them situated here in our apiary, and it looks like we got quite a few bees. But guys, like I told you earlier, when bees swarm in the fall time, they have a way, way, way smaller chance of making it, especially in the wild on their own. All right guys, so I've said it before, and many of you know, I am by no means a professional beekeeper. You know, we kind of do this as just a hobby and a way to give back to the bees. And we get a little reward from it ourselves. And we can't express enough how much we learn. Every time something like this happens, I learn more every time. And the old saying is you can ask two beekeepers for advice and you're gonna get three answers. So, <laughs> A lot of people don't even make bee videos and other, you know, I know a lot of other YouTubers that beekeep and stuff, they don't even make videos because they get beat up about the way they try to do stuff. You know, everybody has their own way or you're doing it wrong. And, uh, you know, luckily I can, for, you know, I ignore all that stuff. I don't really care. I'll take advice, but if you blast me for doing something a certain way or whatever, I don't even care. You're not going to affect my life. But anyways, um we have two options on these bees so you got we got two swarms now and both of them are kind of small swarms we have a couple options we can take some more frames out of some of our existing strong beehives and add like we did on the uh, first swarm we caught we can add some to the new swarm we just caught today and hopefully they'll strive and they'll build and they'll make it the queen will start laying and they'll kind of raise their numbers for their colony that way they'll be strong and have enough food to make it through winter or another option is we can do a process and combine both these hives and i might make the decision here in a couple days i might wait a couple days and see what happens with this new swarm and uh if it don't look like they're doing good or not anything like that i can uh, add some newspaper on this old one set this new beehive on top of it and what that does is it allows a few days for both bee colonies to get used to each other's scents and uh, over time they eat through that newspaper and by the time it takes them to do that they actually are used to each other's uh, smell or scents whatever because there's no guarantee that there's a queen in either one but we have a 50 percent chance i guess that there's a queen in out of the two 
so uh that's a whole nother video it's a whole nother story but that is an option i have done it before and it's pretty much just combining two weak hives to make one strong colony so anyways i'm gonna kind of watch them today i'm gonna wrap up this video i'm gonna go get back in the house get something cold to drink it is brutally hot today and uh i'm thankful for the people that called us and let us know they had a swarm out at their place and hopefully praying that we can get another colony added to our apiary going into the winter into next spring it would be awesome if we could so guys thanks so much for tuning in today if you're not subscribed i ask you guys please consider subscribing click that notification bell so you know when we post a new video like this video leave a comment and we'll see you next time